dealing with depression and the pressures of being a man. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales online to your products and services. So if you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you never miss a tip that can really help you to boost your online sales. So welcome to another Let's Chat video. On these videos, on a Wednesday, I do my best to get out a Let's Chat video where I literally am speaking to you guys about something to do with either my business or my personal life because um, I believe it's just as important as the marketing tips and the business advice. Um, I feel like it's important for me to share what I'm going through, my journey, uh, so you kind of get a better insight into Sam Day and maybe some of some of this chat will actually help you out as well. Um, so in this video, as you can tell from the title, I'm speaking about depression and dealing with depression as a man and sometimes it can be a very taboo topic and I want to be open and honest with you guys um, in that there are times when I do kind of like like I had a, a series where I was doing heart to heart videos where I was kind of speaking um, about things that were really uh, kind of personal to me and I do get subscribers who email me and say Sam you shouldn't be sharing this type of, of stuff because um, you know you need to be perceived a certain way um, on the internet but I've long passed the age of really you know caring what people think per se you know I want to kind of put out content that I really believe is going to help and resonate with people and this topic is definitely one of those topics that I'm hoping will resonate with someone who maybe has been through this maybe who is going through this um, or maybe if you know someone who's going through this and you can forward them this particular video I think it's really important for me to address and speak about these kinds of topics so it's no surprise to anyone who's been subscribed to this channel for a long time that I've had ups and downs in life everybody has it and I've been running this YouTube channel now for about four almost five years and in that that time frame you go through stuff you know things things happen um, and there's most definitely been times where uh, depression um, or thoughts of, you know, man, why am I doing this? Or something's going on in your life and you're, you're thinking, you know, I can't continue, I can't carry on. They definitely come. They come to everyone. And I think one of the best ways to deal with or overcome um, that I have found to overcome my depression has always been to... Um, look in the mirror and literally motivate myself because there's not always going to be a time where there's someone to help to motivate you. There's not always going to be someone at the other end of a phone who knows the exact right thing to say. Um, there's not going to be someone always who will come and visit you and tell you the right things. Like there might be people around, but people don't always know the right things to do or the right things to say when you're going through a, a difficult time. Maybe you're going through a divorce or a breakup or something of that of that nature or someone has passed away or maybe you're just feeling lost in your career or something like that and you're just you're not feeling any progression in life and it's easy to kind of get bogged down in the mindset of man life is just not great for me you know I'm not going anywhere or this situation is never going to change um, and as as difficult as it might sound as cliche as it might sound the one thing that has really helped me is my ability to look in the mirror literally like look in the mirror and encourage myself even when I don't think feel like it even when it's difficult I force myself to look in the mirror and tell myself positive things tell myself that it's going to be okay and when it's coming from me um, then it it, it it resonates more so than when it's coming from someone else um, and I think I think uh, one thing that I've really learned during my low times uh, is the art of learning how to love yourself again and that's super important and you know sometimes as men we don't really talk about these kinds of things because when women talk about these kinds of things all the time there's always there's books and there's podcasts and you know there's videos all over the place for women teaching women to love themselves more and encouraging women to love themselves but it's very rare that you ever hear or, or see anything encouraging men to love themselves but it's super important for your mental health um, as men we're, we're supposed to always uh, be strong where we're always told that we're supposed to be strong we're supposed to be the male figure we're supposed to kind of not let anything get to us but God created us with emotions as well we have emotions we become emotional um, there's things happening in our lives that get to us and 
sometimes you have to encourage yourself and you have to look after yourself. You have to put yourself first sometimes because if you're weak, then as a man, you know, sometimes that affects your whole family, that affects your whole friendship group. If you're um, kind of like a leader, a leader, leader figure in your friendship groups as well, then that can impact a lot of people. So, you know, re it's really important when you're feeling depressed and even even when you're not feeling depressed to make sure you're taking care of yourself eat the right kinds of foods it, the the food that you put into your body can really influence how you feel um, if you're eating the wrong kinds of food you're going to start feeling lethargic you're going to look in the mirror and not like what you see and this is going to bring about negative kind of perceptions of yourself and if you're not thinking positively about yourself then that's kind of like you know it's a dangerous place for you to be when you're starting to think in that way so you really want to make sure that you're putting the right things in your body um, as a start and then you know trying to be active whether it's going to the gym whether it's joining a running club whether it's um, you know joining a football team or you know stay active stay fit don't give up on life keep pursuing your interests keep on you know being active and pursuing and um, as, as older as you get keep on being active because one thing that I've definitely found that helped me when I was in my most lowest state I've ever been in was going to the gym um, I remember being super low and I said to myself look Sam you're not going to stay in this situation you're going to get up from this you're going to progress from this and I started just going to the gym once a day just once a day that was my achievement I was like look I'm just going to go to the gym once a day and um, if I if sometimes I'd go to the gym and I'd feel so down that I'd go there and I'd sit on a bench and I'd have some barbells beside me uh, some dumbbells beside me and I wouldn't do anything I would just sit there and just be lost in space for 10-15 minutes and then I'd be like okay cool I can't do this let me go home but I would still I would still celebrate myself you know because I was feeling down and I still managed to get myself up and go to the gym and then you know after I was doing that consistently consistently eventually you build up enough courage to to go and to keep on going and to enjoy it so after a while, I was going to the gym and I was being, I'll, I'll be there for an hour, hour and a half. I'll be working out. I'll be enjoying it. Um, and then I, I see the results and I'm really starting to, to, in, to, to like what I see in the mirror, which encourages me to go more. And then eventually I was starting to go twice a day. Um, and that really encouraged me and helped me out. So, um, you know, stay active and not only just stay active, but also have that one activity that when you're in your really depressed down state, have that one activity that you you will celebrate yourself for doing so it might even like you might be in your lowest point ever but you know you have to get up and go to work or you know you have to get up and run your business so say to yourself look Sam I'm going to get up or look whatever your name is so say look I'm going to get up at x amount of time I'm going to go to work and I'm going to come home and that's a successful day for me you don't have to do anything extravagant but just do the basics and really celebrate yourself for the basics when you're in your time of 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 really loneliness and that's what really is, is uh, has helped me um and y yeah maybe i'll do a part two as well to to this particular video um about kind of my own personal struggles with depression mental health how i try to balance it because no one has got the exact formula everybody struggles everybody goes through their ups and goes through their downs i've done videos before in the past um in my heart to heart videos about things i've been through um and i want to do more videos about how i've overcome those things as well um so that some of you who might be going through a similar thing maybe you can take take some advice maybe you can take some inspiration from that but i'd love to hear from you guys as well let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoy these kinds of videos where I'm literally just sharing stuff it has nothing to do with marketing most of the time nothing to do with business but everything to do with life and just being a human being and just being vulnerable really um, and I'd love to hear some of your experiences as well if you're open enough to share them in the comments then I'd love to hear from you guys as well but hopefully this video really helped you out again this channel is mainly for entrepreneurs and if you're a serious entrepreneur then I would love to have you part of my community make sure you subscribe make sure you introduce yourself in the comment section down below and also make sure you um, download the formula which is behind me it's also somewhere on this screen as well this is the free guide to generating leads and sales online so if you want help with that in your own particular business then make sure you download that it's absolutely 
absolutely free but i hope this video inspired some of you and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day download the formula and i'll see you soon